Hi, we're back. I've uh, mixed some random colors, uh, some peachy colors, some green, added a lot more white to my palette, and blue. I don't want this to be totally white, uh, even though there's a lot of white in the clouds. And I've also added to my paint, I don't think I left it out, um, impasto uh, liquid, which is kind of thick stuff. And I add that to some of my paint so it flows a little better. Um, I'm going to begin, and I'm going to add a tiny bit of uh, cobalt teal, just because we're on the coast. Ooh, where'd you get that? Oh, I don't remember. Is it one of those brilliant <laughs> colors? No, but it. it uh, I need to. I. I don't. The oh, the sky was becoming kind of um, one note. And I, I want to pull some of the tealy color cool. up into the clouds. Is uh, the other yeah. blue an ultramarine kind of blue? Yeah, it's, it's, you, you can tell it's leaning on the purple side. Ooh, I'd buy that painting right now. Well, here. Okay. <laughs> so, Maybe I'm on restrictions. I'm supposed to I'll be. put you on a painting. <laughs> and you were just went to Michael's and. <laughs> oh my God, I went crazy. Did funny. you buy the water, the metallic watercolors? I bought she got some for the six cheapies. Bucks. And then Tuesday morning had a 24 pack of the sparkly watercolors today for $6.99. I bought those too. Do they have any in there? I don't know. But Tuesday I'll morning can have some fun stuff I'll in there, it. and it's so random. It mm -hmm. is random. Okay, so uh, one thing I normally don't do with a palette knife is like that. Uh -oh. um, I usually have it on a board where I can pick it up and move it wow. around because I don't like not being able to Angle. change directions. Uh -huh. So I'm just kind of randomly throwing this in and picking it up on the side. I'm going to pull some of that color over here so it kind of looks like it should should go. Is that a hard surface you're working on? It's, it's very hard. Very hard and flat. Mm -hmm. But it has a frame under it. It's it has a wooden edge. Okay. Yeah. It's it's like a, a gallery wrap canvas, but okay. it's uh, wood. Cool. So anyway, I just I wanted that tealy color in there just because I like it. And sometimes I just paint with colors I like. I don't care if they're not in the paint in the photograph. And uh, that's that artistic license you can do. And. Uh, I'll bet that would sell at that yoga retreat, don't you? Mm -hmm. We'll yoga call it retreat. <laughs> tranquility. <laughs> All right, so I'm just, um, it's like ice in a cake. Oh, yeah. You're just laying in, you want to go in different directions. Because if you do everything in the same direction, it's going to get boring. And uh, so I'm going to raise up some of the whites of the clouds and pull in some of the blue that's already on my, my palette, I mean on my... I feel like it's a palette because it's hard, mm -hmm. um, but it's, I don't want to scrape too hard. If I scrape too hard, I kind of lift up what's there, and you can still see the underpainting, and I'm already out of white, dadgummit. All right, so that's all right. I'm going to add add some a brighter white in there, but I need to play around with some of this stuff down here. From uh, here, that white has a lot of pink in it. It's, it's the underpainting yeah. showing mm -hmm. through. Okay. We wouldn't have to do no, the, I mean, oh, the on photos. There. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the photos definitely. That's one reason why purple. I wanted, I want. I always like another color underneath. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, the white's going to be flat. Mm -hmm. Could we do our underpainting in something other than those just because oh, yeah. we don't own those? We yeah, could I mean, it could it could have been a real, it could have been acrylic. Now, see, with acrylic, though, see, I'd go brighter. Mm. And that's like what that's what I was hoping these would do because they're ink and intense, but they're not. and they go bright when they're on the the uh, can't the canvas. the paper for my pastels they'll they'll flow out bright, but just not on this. And I just hadn't used it before, so I didn't know. But it's a pretty color. So um, anyway, let me grab some more white. It's like cause... ballet pink. <laughs> it, and now the white I'm using here's. Uh, what I'm using today is titanium. It seems to dry faster hmm. than uh, the Promethean white. And this is the liquid impasto that... Um, in a tube. In a tube. But and can't you get it in a little jar? Yeah, but it's runnier. 
Oh. This is thicker. It's uh, if I'm gonna do palette knife, I want I want oh, this sure. because it'll. Uh, if you remember that thick painting I did in the living room with the tree yeah, yeah. and the uh -huh. that was I had a lot of a lot of this in the paint. And you're just putting a touch of that in your. I just grab a touch of it and mix it in into uh, the whole blob on your palette. Into the blob on the. So yeah, that's right. not going to make it thick. It's just going to make it move. It will. It will increase the thickness it to it. It, okay. it. it actually extends your paint. You don't use as much paint because you have this. Okay. To add to it. If and you're painting on a canvas that moves, could a too thick palette knife painting crack over time? Uh, possibly. Uh, so it's better to use a hard surface like this. Well, I like a hard surface because I can bear down on it. So see if I I can bear ticket. down on it and and I scrape gotcha. and move the paint, and you can still bear down on the canvas. And I've done I mean several paintings on a canvas, but um. Is your it, con are your palm trees there on a canvas or is that a hard surface? Yeah, that's a canvas. And that's palette knife. And that's palette knife with acrylic. What that, size is that, that knife you're using right now? I have no idea. It's an in between size for the other. Two. It's this has a really flexible tip. Ooh. Like I said, I've had I've had this one that's a long time. That's your college knife. I think it is. Yes. Uh, so anyway, that picture keeps going away. All right, so. I, I definitely want some a little more white in here, but I also want some violet. Uh, I feel like you want some uh, change in the um, direction of your. Look at oh, I was gonna say look at me. Oh yeah, I caught the painting. <laughs> yeah. I caught the painting, so uh, it's okay. I wear my paint. Right. Wear it proudly. Wear my paint. All right, so, okay, so uh, went straight to the <laughs> is that the radiant one? This is the radiant violet. Okay. Or radiant. Yeah, Radiant Violet. Um, and when I do landscapes, I have to have purple of some sort. And I really like this Radiant uh, in clouds. And I like color, so um, it works. Now, oops, I think I might have mixed a little bit of that in with the... So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to... If that's a little too, too dark, grayish, that's a little... A little dark for what I can see from here, but it's gorgeous. but I might come back and pull it. But I'm I'm barely touching now when I'm laying in a little bit of the. It's gorgeous. That look okay from there? Looks yes. weird from here. What do you what looks if weird you had about a it? Touch of pink on top of it. I think. Uh, that'd be well. I, I, you know what? I need to just stand up. I see pink in that. Okay, I like it. I mean, yeah, I've just got to stand up. But I love that. Vibe. So I'm gonna create. I'm gonna drag some of that over this way. It, it might change the, the time of day by so, what you put in there. So that blue, when you put that green palm tree on top of it in the quadrant down here, mm -hmm. are you concerned about the mud? I, I have no idea what it's going to okay. do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it might be where um, it might be where I scrape some of it, the what's under there off. Oh. So I have some orange on my palette, opposite of orange is blue, but I'm picking up purple instead to try to make kind of a dark, um, is there raw sand in that? I don't have that on my palette. Oh. I have the orange, oh, let's see, I got a little, little fat there, tree just grew, but if I don't want it that fat. But it's actually a good size on this for you. Oh, you're pushing your inks into it. Helps if I can clean my brush a little better. Right. You, this you just have to. Anyway, let me set that down. Clean that off. Uh, I'm just going sideways with the palette knife to create that trunk. Neat. And. I'm just grabbing a chunk of paint, laying it in, smearing it out. And that's that was the orange with some blue in it? Orange with purple in it. With purple in it. And it wasn't straight orange. I had added some pale yellow to it because I didn't want it to be that orange. vibrant. Mm -hmm. So, and then a little bit of white. So it was, it was more of a salmon-y color. 
Okay. And then I added the, the, the purple. purple. Okay, so, you know, there's there's a little bit of, of that down here, but it's in front of some other stuff. Mm -hmm. So I want to build the dark back here first. So I'm going to get that color off my my palette knife for right now. And I'm going to, I'm just looking at what's dark on my palette because I have a variety of stuff that was left over from last week. So here's a really dark, mm -hmm. dark, it's a dark purple. I think it's called something, something late. Not really sure. I'm just I'm just putting it really dark, and I'm gonna. And that's straight out of the tube. Okay. I think so. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna pull in some of that dark up in here, just laying it, dabbing it in. And see what I probably did is have that. That's probably too dark, for what I'm looking at because I don't have sky color through there. But I'll just see how it works. You know, if I once I put the. Um, branches and stuff in there. Which tree are you doing? The one on the far left or the one in the middle? The one in the middle. Okay. I'm ignoring the one on the far left. Okay. I took it out. Okay, so um, I'm going to start laying in some palm frond things that I'm just going to, I want this very loose, so I just lay it and... Wow, that's a pretty green. And it, you know, it might be a little bright right now. I just did you mix that green or it come out of a tube? Oh, I, I mixed it. I didn't have any green on my palette. I want to buy a tube of just that <laughs> green. But the thing, the fun thing with this is I can just lay it and drag. Um, then I get a little bit. I'm going to mix a little purple with that and add a little darker tones in the inside part. I love purple and green, um, how they mix together. And then I'm going to pick up, there's a lot of red that I see in that um, mm -hmm. picture. Mm -hmm. um, like in the bottom parts of the palm trees? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even out here, that's probably way it's too bright. Like a, it's more like a cad red than it is an alizarin to oh. me. Is that what you're seeing? Like, Some of that, yeah, yeah. but I don't, uh, that... That's probably just the, ex the like vivid. right in here. Yeah, but yeah. honestly, I love color, so um, it's okay to exaggerate. Are you, are you using a red right now? Mm -hmm. I just picked up a little bit of, it was a little, a little bit of Delicious. kind of a magenta, and when she mentioned the cad red, I did pick up some of that. But you see how, how loose and, mm -hmm. and free that is, and then there's these dried other clumps that you can lay in there mm -hmm. and drag on there. That this is where you have to be careful. Whoops, Oops. real heavy. So you just go back up, lift it off, drag it over, move it somewhere else. If you, you know, if you don't like it, you can just uh, lift a lot of it off. Ah. You know, like my. <laughs> yeah. Mine <laughs> almost sounds like you're gonna like spit. That. <laughs> That's a gorgeous color. And um, look how simple it looks, but so perfect. No, it's, well, thanks, but and and I'm not trying to put every little Spike. thing in there. Um, I gotta step back and look and see what I can like about that. Ooh, I like it. The the red is is too much of a blob, so I'm gonna break that up just by lifting up and breaking it as though mm. that's because the paint's wet that's neat. and you can just wipe between each stroke and and it gives you a little uh, variation in your wow. tone if I want to add a little bit of sky I'm gonna see if that'll let me do that I'm looking a little sky hole in there because sometimes it's gotten a little little solid in there and you're just using the very tip of the knife mm -hmm. and just i'm just putting in a little light every now and then and i like i want a little more dark green over this and i you know i don't mind the looseness of that i kind of like the 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 free flow of it mm -hmm. and i'm going to put a little more green out here and uh 
do a little flip with my wrist. Wow, that's pretty pretty crazy looking, but but I kind of like the feel of it. Back here, it looks good. Yeah, it looks really good okay. from back here. I'm going to connect the edge. This is where there's times when you want to lose your edge. Sometimes you, you know, I really like how artists can just take something and then just go and where, where they just drag part of it into another part. And sometimes you create mud that way, but sometimes you, you can get a, a soft edge. And yeah, this might, oh, I don't Ooh. like that. Sometimes you can just totally ruin it. Ah. But I mean, you know, I want, you know, this is, this is an experiment. <laughs> so I want to be able to play with it and see what, what, what the will surface do. will do. Because when I go to Florida and I'm painting out, I want to be more comfortable with the materials that I finally choose to use, whether it's oils or, or pastels. I don't like that. Um, see, sometimes you just have to leave it alone mm -hmm. and uh, know, know to leave it alone. And I don't always do that. Mm. Yeah, but you wanted to see what effect it would have. I did. And, but again, I, I mean, I like the fact I'm not afraid to try something. And we'll just, we'll leave it for a bit. Can we take a picture of it at this stage? Oh, sure. That is awesome. So I love how you use that knife. I do want to add just a couple, couple of lighter, in front of you for just a lighter points in there. You want one, Susan? Yeah. I just don't want to get in the way of everything. You mean while I was sticking my butt in your face? <laughs> no, you... That's right. Shame on you. Uh. I think I got it. Okay. okay. Your pants are on inside out. I know they are. Oh. I realized that driving up here. <laughs> Okay, we just, it. we just videoed you, you know that. How, you know how? Because my pockets, I can't get into my pockets. How funny, and I can see Y'all are label. so funny. Uh -huh. But you know, you look but good you know either what? way. You had a hole in your pants the other day, so now I've still them. got my holy pants. <laughs> I love these pants. I went to play tennis in them, and I don't give a rip. Literally. I love y'all. It's like Jane's cartoon. <laughs> The lady's fashion before and after she became an artist. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. I love that's that me every day, pretty much. Art is no excuse, but that's funny. But now you can use it as one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What she said. Okay. All I'm doing here is just kind of throwing in some darks, and I'm squinting my eyes to see where the light is, where it's not, and I'm not really concerned with what type of foliage I'm painting. But I'm running out of some of my green here. Drag that. Oh, I should have put in what's behind it first. Some of the green that I had was a little garish. So I'm going to want to tone that down a little bit. How do you tone down green? With red. red. Yay. Or? Um, I guess you could do purple. purple. Yep, sure can. Or? Or pink. Yep, or? Blue. Uh, mm. Now you got well, that would cool it off. It's got to have some red in it, maybe even orange. Yeah. Orange, pink, magenta, a, 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 a blue violet, I mean a red violet. Just something that has uh, some red in it. Whether it's immediately red or close to it, close to it, mm -hmm. and see when one of the things that I'm not, okay, the reason I want the dark, I want this darker, even though it isn't in the photo because this is over that. I want this darker, as though it's going down in the um, shrubs and behind the shadows. And I don't even care if some of this purple shows. I want to just give a feeling of foliage down here. And I'm not sure that I'll even include that tiny little palm tree that's off in the distance. Mm -hmm. I don't think I will. I don't think it would look good. Um, 
from back here. It would look like, why is it sitting like, there? Like, what did she do? That's ugly. Yeah. Because that would only be two palm trees, and the picture would have three, and so going with one is really bad. Yeah, it could be. So, I have this kind of limey green that I like. Was the limey green lemon yellow and cerulean? Honestly, I don't know where that one came from. Okay. Oh, it's already out of the two? Yeah. I oh, gotcha. Okay. You didn't have to. I, I was it. cleaning my palette and, and using what was already mm. on there. I like that because that the, the warmth of that pulls forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that, you know, is not hasn't even been hit yet, so right. we need to obliterate this corner. <laughs> and I mean, it could be stuff in the distance. If it's in the distance, it can be less intense and you know not. You want it blurred. You want it to. Matter of fact, let's see what if we if we could create. I'm just gonna change this. You know, you know how you can move things. Huh. When you're, mm -hmm. Let's see if I can create a distant water. Oh, that's clever. Oops. You're making the ocean. I moved the You ocean. got that license out for that one. I did. But it's so pretty. Because this, it wasn't, it didn't have anything, oh, there wasn't much lovely. going. Mm -hmm. So I just, I moved the ocean. Oh my gosh, what a big difference. That is a perfect composition. You know what? Gorgeous. She's so clever. Because it looks so much better than, you lost your reference photo, but right. it looks so much better than that, that reference Bunch? photo because um, there's the dry palm tree leaves in there. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay, so, you know, that's that could be finished. It's beautiful. Are you, when, you, when you're recording these, are you recording? Are you moving that to record the reference photo? Oh, I did at one point okay. have it on there. Okay. Uh, what yeah. color is that ocean? That's that. Um, that that's ocean cobalt teal. has mm -hmm. some cobalt teal. Uh, Sky looks tremendous now really? that you put the blue in. I know. Well, it just needed something. Okay, let me back up and look. It's beautiful. Okay, I don't think my water's level. It's not. Your left side's Oh, I do like right. it, though. Mm -hmm. And I really yeah, like yes. how there's some light in here. Yes. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, you're not quite sure what it is, but it looks really cool. It looks mm -hmm. like something's blooming there. So it's I, I need to lift this up a little bit mm -hmm. or lower this. Right. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. I love that composition. Kind of like where it is. So if I can lower this. such a nice little decent ringtone it's not screaming at you mm -hmm. I want it fairly neutral there isn't it nice how you can just move the water mm -hmm. well one of the reasons why it, is that mm. straight now yes it's perfect okay I feel like the dark I feel like this needs something up here so I'm gonna break it up with a little just additional cloud. The dark blue right hand side of the ocean is pulling my eye out. Out. Could you calm you, yeah. it down a little? I'm going to turn it this way. Maybe it's you hard don't to... agree, but no, it's I, pulling I agree. me that way. There. Because it had a, a strong contrast? Yes. Oh my God, that's perfect. <gasps> How did you do that so fast? Okay, I'm done. Okay. Y'all's turn. <laughs> $300 that's selling for a, the yoga 